How are you? Genki desu ka? Genki, Genki. So, I have some update. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's hiragana. Mm, hiragana. Kyo. Right? Yeah, it's Kyo. 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 Mm. Kyo. Kyo is today. Okay. And Kyo. Ooh. Kyo. Mm, Kyo. Oh, Kyo. Kyo. Mm, today. So it's just Kyo? Like that? Mm. Kyo is today, yeah. Okay, so Kyo wa. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Kyo. Kyo wa nan. Kyo wa nan. Um. Hold on, that's a big one. Kyo wa nan. That's a yo bi. It's got great. So, yo. Yo bi is days. Yo bi. Okay. So and then, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kyo wa nan yo bi desu ka? Kyo wa nan yo bi desu ka? Okay. What? Okay, so I'm done with my Japanese tutoring session. Also, this hotel Wi Fi freaking sucks. So, trying to do my Japanese lesson on this Wi Fi was a struggle. I will not stay at this hotel. I will not recommend this hotel again if you guys need to work or do anything because I'm telling you, Wi Fi absolutely sucks. Doesn't matter if you're in your hotel room or if you're in the lobby, it still sucks. Anyways, I digress. But we went to Jal. Joy Polos, Ja Polos, no, Joy Polos. I don't know. I'm gonna send it, put a picture somewhere right here. Yesterday, and oh, we were so upset because, well, I guess it's our fault because we did not check to see <laughs> what time the place closed. But we paid to get in there, and we only had like an hour to do two rides. We did the Attack on Titans like haunted house looking thing. That one was crazy. We were, we were not allowed to film in there but that one was crazy. It was fun. I literally thought we were like getting set up in that the room was just going to drop kind of like the elevator ride I think at Disney or Universal where it just fucking drops because the room was shaking and then <laughs> me and my friend were like freaking scared. She tripped, tripped me out. I was like oh shit it's definitely going to drop. And I was like holding on to her. It was crazy. But it never dropped. The room was just shaking. But it was really good experience. And then we did this other little mystery game. Then we did this other game. It's like they give you like a crystal. And you put the little crystal on the, on the um, platform. And you put your name and your date of birth or whatever in there. And then you go to the second part. And then you like mix the marbles around. And then you're supposed to choose your destiny. And then the third part is supposed to tell you, you know, what your future is. Tell me why. Me and my friend, we put our crystals on the little platform thing. And that computer fucking told us to get out. It said, get out now with two exclamation marks. And <laughs> go put your crystals. I forgot what it told us, where it told us to put our crystals. And we're like, this must be messed up. So we did it again. And it said it again. It told us to literally get out. And I'm just like. It's racist. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. I'm like, what the heck? It said something else, but I just remember it telling me to get out and I couldn't believe it. And I'm just like, I don't whatever, this game is stupid. But we did two things and that was it. It looks super cool in there. Um, maybe next time I go back again and go earlier in the day so we have more time to do stuff because it had rides and a bunch of other stuff in there. I was ready to throw it out. I'm such a gamer and I'm super competitive. I'm extremely competitive. Like, I would beat anybody up. I don't care if you're two, five, six, whatever. <laughs> I will not go easy on you. Anyways, but I got some stickers. I don't know if y'all watch Free Run, but I was like, I freaking need this. This is so cute. But I was so surprised that they had in Inuyasha stickers. But this is Shishomaru, a little Shishomaru. And this one is Inuyasha. Because I have been to so many anime stores or pop-up stores. There's nothing that ever has Inuyasha in it. And I'm just like, I have to buy the both of them. All they had was Lord Shishomaru and Inuyasha. They did not have Kagome, but it's okay. But at least I got those two. And then I got Giyu, which is my favorite Demon Slayer. I freaking love him. He's funny. Um, but yeah, those are the stickers that I've gotten. And I got
I got a Sonic t-shirt. I got this Sonic t-shirt. I love Sonic and then with the cherry blossoms in the background. It's so cute. It is so cute. And then I just realized when I put it on, I was going to wear it, but I decided to change. And it says this on the back. Sonic the Hedgehog. I like it. Um, but yeah, so. That is my little rant. I'm about to meet my friend for lunch. And then after that, I'm going to head to Toshi. It's Toshi something. I know. I'm going to head to the Wisteria Park since it takes me like two and a half hours to get there. But yeah, see so you when I get there. <laughs> Finally made it to the Wisteria Flower Park. There's so many people here. I was not expecting so many people to be here at night and it makes me super anxious. But I'm gonna try to film as much as I can before I get too nervous. Um, but yeah, it looks super pretty. I'm glad I came. It's huge. Flowers everywhere. Everybody's taking pictures and vlogging and all that stuff. This is definitely worth the two hours and 30 minutes that I had to take to get here. It's so huge. I feel like I definitely feel like I'm in an anime or something from, from Demon Slayer. Because, you know, the Wisteria protects you from the demons or whatever. This is exactly why I came here. It's pretty funny. But, it's so nice. ice cream and I'm gonna try the ice cream the background is so pretty it smells so good okay so this is wisteria flavor ice cream it tastes like I don't know <laughs> I don't know how to explain this flavor It reminds me of this ice cream that I used to have as a kid. It was called Blue Smurf Ice Cream. It was from this place called Whitey's. That's what it reminds me of, but I can't explain the flavor. It's a creamy flavor. Just think, it tastes like cream. That's the word I'm looking for. It tastes just like cream. Nothing out of the ordinary. But I still recommend you guys come here because it's so peaceful. It's so pretty at night and it's a cute little date spot. Like if y'all over here, definitely go. It's worth it, 100%. Hey guys, just got back from seeing the Wisteria flowers. Sorry for the bad lighting. I am exhausted. Two hours and 30 minutes there and back. Again, like I said before, it was definitely worth it. It smelled so good. It smelled amazing. It smelled like Wisteria and Jasmine. And I love Jasmine. Jasmine is my freaking favorite smell in the world. But um, I recommend going 100%. However, when you, if you decide to do the night wisteria, just be prepared for thousands of people, okay? It's so packed, like shoulder to shoulder packed. And I couldn't film like I really wanted to film. The kids are running around, the strollers, people hit me with the strollers and I was an accident because there's too many freaking people. It was just overwhelming. So I didn't get to film how I wanted to film. Too many people. That place is massive, but too many people. 
but I got some good shots and I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys saw that before we got to this point but um yeah so I had when I was leaving I had wanted to get a souvenir so I got two keychains in a bag of tea and on the there's a sign of each cashier it was like flower cashier and then a souvenir cashier so I went and stood in the souvenir line since all I had was souvenirs I get to the register she rings up my bag of tea she rings up one of the keychains and the other keychain she's just like oh you have to get this buy this at the flower cashier apparently whatever whatever section you grab the keychain from you needed to go to that counter but it was confusing because the sign just said flower cashier and even on the intercom it was in english it was just like what if you were buying flowers you can only buy it from the flower counter so i'm like okay i'm not buying flowers so let me go to the souvenir line mind you i stood in line for 10 minutes so when she told me that i had to go stand in that other line which was just as equally as long as the one i was just standing in to go buy one keychain. I didn't even say anything. I was so irritated. I just looked at her. And I said, I don't even want it. And I walked away. I was just so annoyed. Like, so annoyed. There is no way that you would know that whatever section you grabbed a keychain from, you can only buy from there. Because it's just one big, huge room. And it's kind of confusing. It doesn't even look like sections. It just looks like there's stuff everywhere. I was just so frustrated and I left. But after that, yeah. It was on the train for 2 hours and 30 minutes. Uh, now I'm back here eating my cocoa curry. If you guys are wanting some comfort food, cocoa curry is what you need. It is so good and it makes you feel so warm and cozy on the inside. And even when you go inside the diner, it's like a mom and pop. It's like a mom and pop type diner. And it just makes you feel at home. It's super cozy. So I'm about to eat this food. I was going to pack, but... I'm tired and I'm probably going to wake up super early in the morning anyways. So I'm going to eat this food, sleep, and then I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. I will probably be in I in my new hotel. No, I will be in my new hotel, but I will either see you at my new hotel or I will just see you guys at um, this cafe me and my friend are going to that we're both excited about. It's a boy love cafe. It's so cute and we're excited. So I'm going to just eat this food, go to sleep, and I'm going to see y'all tomorrow.